Now, a uh, first major breakthrough in the hunt for a Malaysian passenger plane that went missing more than two weeks ago. The Malaysian government says it has acquired fresh data showing the ill-fated jet has come down in the Indian Ocean. Massive air and sea search operations in the area have been suspended due to bad weather. With deep sadness and regret, that's how Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Raza described his feeling about the fate of the country's passenger plane that went missing more than two weeks ago. It is therefore with deep sadness and regret that I must inform you that according to this new data, flight MH370 ended in the southern Indian Ocean. The Malaysian Prime Minister cited new satellite information saying that the plane's last position was a remote place in the middle of the Indian Ocean, west of Australia's Perth. Meanwhile, Malaysia Airlines sent a text message to relatives of the people on board the missing jet that the plane went down in the Indian Ocean with no survivors. Najib's statement, along with the airline's statement, is a major breakthrough, more than two weeks' struggle to find out what happened to Flight 370, which disappeared shortly after takeoff from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing with 239 passengers two-thirds of whom were Chinese. The painful incident is particularly agonizing for the relatives who learned about the news. The loved ones were dead. The new development on the fate of the aircraft comes as international rescuers are looking for two objects spotted by satellite images 2,500 kilometers southward of Perth. The search is tough as the objects have been identified in separate parts of the vast search area, in remote waters with sea fog and low hampering visibility. Relocation is proving difficult. Um, that's partly a function of the, the poor visibility. Um, and the fact that aircraft are a long way apart, it's very difficult to get um, the next aircraft or the next ship onto the spot to take over. As the search continues to locate the possible debris in the remote and vast zone, investigators say it's too soon to consider launching undersea searches for the wreckage of the plane. They say such an investigation could be launched only if the operations underway today enable a more limited search area.